Next to the stage is Abby Shifton, a uh, former architect, is now a stay-at-home mother, and she would like to talk to you about food allergies. Charlie was in the house earlier tonight, if you saw the little guy. He's now in a car across the street, not doing so well. So, uh, but Charlie showed up tonight, and she's going to talk a little bit about him. This is my first really boring slide here. So I'm talking about food allergies. Um, uh, Charlie is almost two, and uh, one of the things that I started to learn about uh, was food allergies. I was very fortunate to grow up in a home where nobody had food allergies, so um, never really encountered that before. Um, and then this is this is Charlie and I um, making faces at the camera, and I just want to tell you a little bit of uh, a story about when we found out that he had a food allergy. Uh, he was about 16 months old, and everyone had said, oh, can I give him a peanut butter sandwich? Can I give him this peanut butter cookie? I'm like, no, no, you know, let's wait. I haven't given it to him yet. Let me do it. Let me do it at home. So one night, uh, this is us in the ER, <laughs> after I had given him some uh, peanut butter at home. And uh, he, he started to cry after I handed it to him, and he's covered in peanut butter at this point. Um, and so I'm like, let me, let me put you in the bathtub. I don't want peanut butter all over myself. Get him in the bathtub, and I wipe his cheek off, and there are hives underneath. And then he starts to cry and starts to cough and wheeze. Um, this is uh, something I stole off the internet about how um, allergies work. Allergies are actually uh, your immune system malfunctioning and attacking um, whatever they're allergic to. So it thinks it's a disease, and so it starts attacking it. And that's why reaction, reactions can be so severe. Uh, these are a few things that people can be allergic to. There are eight that are the major allergies. Milk, egg, soy, and wheat are some of the newer ones that we're finding out a lot more about. Fish, shellfish, peanuts, and also tree nuts are the ones that we hear a lot about the uh, severe reactions. Um, so <laughs> what, are, what are the symptoms? Um, mild symptoms can be hives, a rash, maybe some redness in the face, or some uh, upset stomach. When it starts to get serious, you can get vomiting. Uh, hives are also accompanying the serious reactions. Then also wheezing and, and trouble breathing, which is where Charlie went with the peanut allergy. Um, this is, I'm putting a lot of slides of Charlie and my family up here just because uh, even though you don't know anything about aller allergies maybe, or maybe you do, um, but every time there's somebody around you with an allergy, I just want you to think about that's somebody's baby. And so I know it's hard sometimes to uh, do a lot of it, but it's really important to us. This is when we did the testing and we found out uh, what he's allergic to. He did, they didn't test him for everything, just nuts, peanuts, and shellfish. And this is the peanuts. That's the little hive he got there. This is a test. And everything else he's clear for, so, you know, cross our fingers that it stays that way. But when, when people get tested for allergies, they, they check for a lot of different things. See, these are things that go with us everywhere we go. This is Benadryl. Our insurance card, that goes with him now. Um, and then the EpiPen. Uh, it's one thing you don't know about an EpiPen is that uh, it's not like just the, the stick and whatever. You have to hold it there for 10 seconds. They made us watch a video before we left the ER that night. So um, one way that you start to protect people with allergies, uh, at home you start reading all your labels. So this is what you think of normally when you read a label. But then this is the important part to me now. It contains wheat ingredients. Uh, the wheat ingredients in this is al also has traces of soybeans. So if you are allergic to wheat or soy, that's bad for you. Um, when you eat out, there are a lot of uh, different things you have to think about now. You have to tell, tell your server and make sure that they're informing the kitchen. Um, local places are great because they care. Oftentimes they know you. Um, but the problem with local places is they don't always have a system involved. Uh, big chains often have a system, but don't always uh, follow it. Uh, one thing that you have to be careful about is you say, oh, well, maybe we'll make sure, we'll just have it in house, but we'll make sure he doesn't get any. That's not possible. This is Dan's cup of coffee in the morning that he's finishing <laughs> off for him. He shouldn't have coffee, but he got it anyway. Uh, this is Halloween. Halloween uh, is big with the candy, but because they um, up production so much, uh, no Halloween candy is safe. None of it. So there are candies that are safe, but if you're, if you're buying candy for someone with an allergy, go and actually buy it from the candy section and not the specialized uh, Halloween or uh, holiday candy. Uh, <laughs> this is just, you know, you enjoy food. Um, everybody enjoys food. People will say, gosh, I, I don't know how you do that. I love peanut butter. Well, I'll tell you what, I love peanut butter too. 
Love it. I could eat it every day. I've had peanut butter twice since we found out that it's allergy, and they were never at home. So, uh, do people outgrow allergies? Um, people who have a milk, egg, wheat, or soy allergy have about an 85% chance of outgrowing it. People with peanut, tree nut, shellfish, or fish have a 20% chance of outgrowing it. A lot of those um, can be... Uh, it, it can uh, be affected by how often that person gets exposed to it when they're still allergic. So our goal right now is to make sure you never get exposed to it again. Uh, children have more allergies because people do outgrow them. Adults still, uh, there are a lot of people with allergies out there and uh, not everybody knows how to deal with that. And uh, allergies can present at any time. So if you've never reacted to shrimp before but all of a sudden you feel a little weird after having some, maybe you should go get checked out or maybe you should don't eat it anymore. So that is... Uh, very important. Uh, and this is, yeah, this is our family. So uh, that's what we do to, to keep Charlie safe. And if you find out about anybody that has an allergy, please do be conscious and uh, help us out.